up YouTube, Rotocat Gaming here bringing you another cryptocurrency related video and NB Miner version 41.3 was just released today. Particularly for me, this was a godsend because my previous version that I was using 41.0 was very faulty. It was restarting my rigs every other hour or so and not just me but a lot of people. So obviously, you know, new software being released has its kinks and this is what they identified that they improved the stability of the LHR unlocker that they released on version 41.0 and it works for me great I've been testing it all day today and I wanted to show you basically what I did on Simple Mining OS so I went with, to one of my rigs uh, the 3060 Ti I click on the configuration um, profile of it and then on the minor version I just went from, you know, from 41 to 41.3 Easy does it, Simple Mining already implemented it, so I don't have to deal with any, any of that nonsense, right, as far as downloading and Windows and all that. So really easy to do, then it restarts, and then the, the rig will, will re-download it and start executing. And the, the overclock settings that I already have in place for the 3060 Ti rigs is I leave the core uh, megahertz at zero due to I due to the command line I have a very specific lock uh, core clock command that I'll show you guys what that is on on uh, typically on 3060 Ti video cards uh, in my case most of them I run it at uh, 2400 right here in Linux right memory megahertz and the power limit at 135. And um, so that's that's the setting that I'm um, the overclock setting that I'm using here, and on the group group config the command line to lock the core, I'm using a uh, dash dash c clock at 14:55. So it locks the core at 14:55, and I'll show you uh, what it looks like here. So right here, 14:55. Most of them are 14:55. Uh, Actually, this rig is not doing it for some reason, but. Let me show you one that typically has that. So 1455, 1455, um, and and it's not drawing as much uh, wattage on some of them, like 116 watts on on two particular video cards. And it's luck of the draw. Sometimes you get really good video cards, and sometimes you don't. But be that as it may, most of them are running above 60 mega hashes on a 3060 Ti, really efficient. And look at this efficiency, 455 kilo hashes per second, 526 kilo hash. That's ridiculous, you know? So really happy. The other rig, uh, again, 455, 438. Uh, it's it's fantastic, Six, around 60 mega hash. Look at this, real real quick calculator. Uh, 360, what is it? 360.9 uh, divided by six. So on average, 60 mega hash per rig, uh, I mean per video card, and I have six on this particular rig, I have six on the other. Really, really good stuff. The LHR unlocker works. Uh, it's a dream come true. Let's see how long this Ethereum mining will last or if the uh, aggregate of all these LHR cards now hashing more is actually gonna decrease the, the rewards for everybody mining. I mean, logic will say that's probably the case. And um, yeah, we'll just play it out. We'll, we'll see what happens. But 100% very stable LHR unlock is now a reality. Wanted to make an update, show you guys what it looks like in SMOS. And, um, and I couldn't be happier. Anyway, thanks for checking out the video. Just wanted to give a, a quick look at what's happening. And if you guys have any questions, let me know. All right, peace.